in Gamma Ray. So I'm here to give you a quick overview of the Transactions project. Transactions project is a project I made for providing automatic transcription and translation for video lectures. So we have, this is a scientific project and we have a, a broad approach. We have many goals, many things, but at the end what we want is to have engine to provide accurate transcription and translations and do it by machine. So now all of you know that transcribing and translating is a hard work. Nobody does that. Why? Because it's so time costly for the results that you only do that if you're in a hurry for doing that. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, we, as part of the consortium, as the European Union for making a, a project, and what we expect to have at the end of the project. First of all, the most important part for the Matterhorn community is that we, we want, we are committed to provide an operation for Matterhorn to transcribe and transcript automatically. So when we end, all of you should be able to try the tool we are providing to the community. This tool, of course, will have some um, limitations, also a way to, uh, there should be a, a way to work for instance, it will not fit with all languages. We are working from, with some languages, articulate and all. But we will provide an engine for you to be able to have more source languages. We are trying this with two case studies, with two video learning repositories. One is videolectures.net, that is run by the Knowledge for a Foundation and is recording conference, like this one. Well, not this one, but like this one and Polymedia, that is a repository of learning objects that is in Spanish in the IMA University, in Politeca University of Valencia, has 10,000 videos. And last but not least, we are going to evaluate the results of this translation, because the idea here is, as there was something, well, there are many, many things brilliant in the first talk, in the invited talk, but what I get most is that we are not aiming for the whole perfection. We are aiming for good enough. And translations is going for good enough. So that's an important point, and we're, we're evaluating how good enough is our resources. Okay. This is the participants. We have enterprises like Xerox and, the, and DDS in the UK. We have universities as mine, Politecnica de Valencia, or the RWTH. Sorry, I can in, in Aachen, and uh, in a research institute like the Joseph Stern Institute in Slovenia, or the European Media Laboratory in Germany, here. Okay, we are working with those languages. Why? Because those are the languages on the case studies. So we are working from the electrics.net, from Slovenian and English, and with Polymedia in Spanish. This is our source languages. And this is the languages we are going to transcribe. And then, we are going to translate to those five languages. Okay, the, the transcribed languages, the source languages, are enough interesting, at least for the European Union, because one is English, that is the standard language for doing anything. The other one is a big language, that is Spanish, could be German, could be French, but it's one big, big language. And the, and the last one is a small language, that is Slovene. So we are trying those, and I have to say that it's, it's a good approach because the, cha the challenges are different for both of them. It's not the same. We are in month 20 of a 36 month project. So we are somehow in the middle. So we are beginning to get results. So please don't expect anything to be finished by now, but we have some results. Uh, we have transcription tools since month 12 and translation tools since month 18, just two months ago. Okay, the Martin Horse tools are expected to be month 30. So it's roughly a year to get the, the Martin Horse tools for you to use. So at the end, what we are going to do is that we have all 
things around the lecture, which is the lecture, but not only the lecture, maybe the language models, so the topics that are around the lecture, the slides of the lectures, or any extra content, for instance, the author of the topic has publications, have papers, have something, we mix everything and get an automated transcription. Then we'll do the translation, and then we'll get the result. That's the first round of the project. And the second round is that somehow teachers, users, and, every, and everybody that wants can help the system by crowdsourcing to make better transcriptions and better translations. So in Matterhorn, it will be roughly the same. So we will add two new operations in, st in the middle of our workflow. And somehow, I guess, through our, the archive service, I guess, that's one technical topic, but we, we should see somehow, we should be refill the correct transcription or translation into Matterhorn. This is something we can work, work, work out in, in the next days of the conference. Okay, so I'm going to make a quick demo. So I have said, we have transcribed all videos for Polymedia and Video Lectures with the MONS 18 engine. I'm going to show you one of them. This is one of them. But this is transcribed, so it's in Spanish. That's not really extreme, but I want to show two things about that. First of all, we are evaluating how the users will interact with this video. For instance, he can press and change anything and update, but this is not the best way to do that. Maybe this. So you can jump to any point on the translation, hear that, and you can change anything. That is one way to do that. We are experimenting with different interfaces for doing that. But what we are like more is that intelligent interaction part. How this behave? Well, the machine, the engine of translators, know more about the translation than, than the text. What know? If it is good, not good, or somehow good. So we have the magic one here. And in the magic one, you, the, the teacher or the user can know the parts of the lecture that for the machine are bad, are probably bad. So you can focus on the points that you want to check. So, and if you look at here, you see that the system estimates that in eight minutes, you are able to correct all the parts that are probably bad. So the idea is, you send the file, you get a first transcription, you use the, inter the intelligent interaction that should be short, you refill the machine with that transcription, and then with that extra info, you get the, the, the correct one. And that's what we are trying to do. And this, that, this is what we want to add to Matterhorn at the end of the system. So, um, well, so you, are, you hear the contest, you hear the word, and you go, and you go, can go quite faster doing that. And that's my lightning talk. So, thanks all. And if you want to go more, you go for the